howdy, hey, hi there, welcome back to day 10 of designing an island in 30 days using villager help only. Oh my goodness, double digits. This is weird, this is really weird, Um, but holy crap. Also, I feel like I sound a lot better, I feel a lot better, I've been taking medicine and my throat still kind of hurts, I'm still a little congested, but I feel the best I've felt in these past few days. Um, I'm recording like normal. Thank you all for so much for being patient with me and for all the kind words yesterday. But here we are today. Not only new- oh goodness, there's so much. The only news we had from Isabel today was that Jeremiah is moving in. I also went through yesterday and bought a ton of things that I can use for decoration because I really want to start setting up, fully, fully setting up the pink and blue sections and like the purple sections as well. But I want to see what Wendy gave us first. A ski mask, okay. And Bob got us the rattan stool. Okay, I can use these things. I also redeemed some items from the Nook Mileage program. I think I got a few like street lamps and but I don't really remember what I got. Let's actually see, hold on. We got a park clock. I believe this will be a phone booth because I have the blue one. Oh, and then some party lights. Yes, because I want to put these around Rainbow Road because I think that'll be pretty. And then I got some lanterns and some stuff to try and decorate Fuchsia's house because I want to get her house like complete complete today. So up there are so many red dragonflies. Look at that. Holy crap. Um, up here I did a little bit more terraforming like as I was doing yesterday. I set up like a little incline path up here and kind of like smooshed it together right here and I added a pond over here and a little plot layout for where I want Bob's house to go because I want this to be the purple section but I really want to be working on the blue section today I want to work on Fuchsia's house and Jeremiah's house today Fuchsia's house is littered with flowers I want to fully decorate this give her some things to actually you know make it look nice and I, would, I think it would be cute to put like a little bakery or something back here. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't bought any of the like food recipes because that limits the amount of like items that I can craft. So I'm nervous. this. So also for the blue section, I want Poncho to be my dark blue and Jeremiah to be my light blue. But for that to like really be... um. Jeremiah is gonna be like more down here because I want green to kind of be in front of my airport like over here ish I want this to kind of blend into green and I want Jeremiah to be the in between I want Jeremiah to be in between Murphy and Poncho basically but I really wanted to put Jeremiah's house on the beach back here and give him something to do back here but I think I'll end up putting Poncho back here because he is the the dark blue villager. I don't I don't mind doing that. I think Jeremiah would look cuter back here, but I want to go with the color coordination. So we're going to put Poncho back here. I'm thinking like here-ish. If not, then maybe here. And then this just whole area back here is going to be his like yard, his kind of area. And then you can kind of snake back in. And then the dark blue can kind of fade into light blue. And I want the shop to be in between them because I don't know, it could work for yellow, but I want, I want the shop on the blue side. I know I went with like for April sisters, I went off of the shop's body color, like because April sisters is kind of pink. Oh my gosh, I also completely forgot. I built this ramp. This ramp. I built that. That's why I'm in my wetsuit is because I was getting money all day. But it could fit in the green section because it has a green roof. But I put it in pink because pink. Um, I have, honestly, the most ideas for like the yellow section. So, and I don't have too many ideas for the blue section. So that's why I want to put the shop in the blue section and then over here i have started blue rose production i really 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 want to get blue roses for this island i've never bred them before on my own 
I did that in New Leaf. It was a little bit easier in New Leaf, but I've never done it in New Horizons and I want to do it so badly. So I want to like focus a lot of time and effort into that. But I think that pretty much sums up what I want to do for today. I'm also thinking that I should make, like I was planning on having this whole area up here, kind of like where Pietro's house is, kind of near the, this and then to the front of the airport to be green. I think that's too much area to be green. So I'm thinking that we make this area rainbow and that I should throw my villager in in the rainbow section if that makes sense rather than putting me in the green section because my favorite color is green I should put myself in the rainbow section because I'm kind of like all of it so I'll be neighbors with Pietro and everything you know unless I find stitches if I do find stitches uh by Pietro um you know that is a whole if you know on the Murphy hunt if we find stitches I'd take him <laughs> and everything like that but I do I do like Pietro a lot so that is the plan for today um I need to work on moving like these buildings and stuff out of the way I know that the museum could also work for blue because of the roof but I'm gonna be putting it in the red section because of the banners out front that's just that's that's the plan and then I think that is pretty much all I have so I'm gonna go ahead and plop down some like I wanted the phone box and this park clock to be next to each other they I don't know I feel like they fit in the blue section like something like that is what I want that to look like anyway I am gonna start with taking off my wetsuit because it's actually kind of ugly and then moving over to fuchsia's house because I want to work, oh my goodness, I want to work on this yard and everything. I feel like it'd be cute to have like a little like garden or something up here actually. Maybe put, maybe like a wishing well. <gasps> I have an idea for a wishing well. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up, get to work, and... <clears throat> okay, hello, howdy, hey, hi there. Welcome back to Voice Over Bodhi. I know, this is crazy. So, for this, um, what's it called? This house, this lot, this front door, her yard. There we go, yard. I'm clearing out flowers, placing down paths, and I'm not really get, getting rid of the flowers. I'm just putting them somewhere else, you know. The flowers will be a problem for me in the future, which I love doing that to myself, you know. But I'm honestly happy that I have this many flowers. I feel like I haven't been time traveling that much. But at the same time, I'm like looking back on things. I definitely am. Anyway, I decided to put a little rainbow of flowers on the side of her house over there. And I will explain it a little bit later. But I put a, like a table in front of her like house, like in front of her thing to kind of display her photo once I get Fuchsia's photo later on. And then I start working on this back area and then i kind of catch back up because i'm missing a few items so i'll just i don't know go back to normal in game Bodie. hey so this is all i got done so far i want to put little tables or little stools in front of everybody's house so once i get their picture i can display it in front of their house you know as like a pride as a proud accomplishment um this i don't have enough furniture for quite yet and I was gonna go around and collect some more flowers and kind of try and fill up this area, maybe do like, like, um, tiny garden, like a little flower garden there. Um, and then up here is actually what I want to work on next. I want to go grab the wishing well or the, the like, the well recipe. I don't know. I'll show you it in a second. The brick well. This is what I want. I'm also gonna get the signpost recipe because I do want to use that around this area so be back once i have those but i got everything i need to craft some of the items that i want to try and finish up this house and everything like that yeah let's just start with this let me customize these items i didn't grab any of my customization kits uh, i'll be right back all right okay okay i got my kits hunker down and customize now Let's place these down. So I want my little duck to go right here. And then I want the well, like there, question mark. Maybe like here, and then we can put some flowers back here. But really what I want to do for this, cause I think it would be 
so cute is put little like coins down like that's i i can't take credit for this idea i fully saw it on pinterest but i wanted to like like look so people are making wishes oh like people are just doing little wishes that's so cute it's just it's just a little wishing well that's that's really what i wanted right there and then i'm thinking right here we could do a like flower garden we can put this and then do like three and three and then we can put oh my goodness i can put like more little rainbow planks through here i want to incorporate like the rainbows everywhere yeah let's do that and then i want to get a few more flowers for back here as well kind of fill up the space this i feel like would be a good was a good block of color it's like rainbow roses I want to put a different flower here. I don't want this to just all be roses right at the front, but I like the idea of having a flower there. This over here instead, and I will come back to the area in the back. Let me just go pick up some flowers really quick. As you may have guessed, I've been sick, you know, as I've been saying these past few videos. I've been feeling really nasty, and it's just everything seems to be getting under my skin and I really just don't feel the greatest. I'm not gonna lie at all, but that that's the truth. I don't know, I just haven't been feeling the best, but I'm doing a lot better now. I can say I've been a tiny wee bit stressed because I have cleaning checks coming up. I live in a in like an apartment complex that is really, really close to a college, practically in college housing. I mean, that's fine, you know, it works. It works for me. I like where I'm located and everything. And it also makes sense because I am a wee baby. I'm only, I'm only 19. So I don't, yeah. <laughs> So I have cleaning checks coming up and I'm just nervous. I get nervous every time cleaning checks come up. That's just kind of to be expected. Like who doesn't get nervous around cleaning checks? If, if you say you don't, you, you're, you're a liar. <laughs> I live in an apartment that should hold four people and there are currently only two of us living in it. So fun. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. If anything, it's been really, it's been really nice. But that means I have to do twice the work and i've been i've been a little sick and everything so i was i was doing dishes yesterday because i'm a college student i let the dishes pile up my room is messy the living room's messy everything's kind of messy you know me and my roommate who you know actually live here have been sick on and off and we were both in florida and we were both traveling and we both have dogs so it's a little hard to keep up with everything and that is totally fine like no worries everything's fine you know we'll catch up we have to like obviously deep clean everything and it's like good it has been draining our mental state because i have this project going on and i want to put every ounce of energy that i have into this project especially since i've been sick since i don't have much energy to spare i i i have the energy to put into this and that's literally it i can only spare energy on this so cleaning has been a little too difficult recently and that's okay you know everybody struggles everybody has different things to worry about and it's okay to struggle sometimes but i just want to let you guys know if I ever seem like extra stressed, it's because of that. Cleaning checks are on Friday. It's Monday, so we're fine. We'll be fine. I think I'm mostly worried because we did technically fail our last cleaning check, which is because they told us they were coming on like a Tuesday or something and they didn't show up until Thursday. We had already like used our shower again and everything. They're like, the showers are disgusting. So you guys fail. And I'm like, okay we thought we missed it like we did last time anyway I'm, i am gonna go to wendy's house we don't have cleaning checks every month we ha like this will be our third cleaning check my lease started in august our first cleaning check happened around the holidays ish they 
told us like, hey, we're gonna be coming on this day. We still had all of our roommates. In fact, we had like an extra fifth roommate at the time. So our apartment was clean and they just never came. We thought, okay, maybe they just missed us. Maybe they did mark us as like a, we thought maybe they marked us as a fail. So they'll come back when they do like rechecks or something. They never came. So we just kind of, we passed that check. Um, and then we had another check around Easter-ish. And that's the one that we failed because they came two or three days after they told us that they were gonna be here at like the middle of the day. Like they typically do checks from like 10 to three and then they'll move over to the next day. They came into our apartment at like five or six. And so me and my roommate already accepted, like maybe they really just don't care about our apartment. Maybe they just marked us as like, maybe this is happening like last time. So, but then they marked us as a fail, but the lady was super sweet and was like, so technically you guys failed because your showers are actually really gross. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. The showers are disgusting. So you technically failed, which she didn't say disgusting. The showers are dirty. So you guys technically failed, but you have the cutest dogs. So I'm gonna let you pass this time, but don't tell anybody, okay? And we're like, oh my goodness, really? Like, thank you. And like me and my roommate were trying to play off the fact like, okay, we should have passed, but like whatever. But she was super sweet and she's like, okay, I'll be back at the end of July don't let this happen again. And we're like, okay, no big deal. It's coming up on mid-July. So I'm kind of like, oh, cleaning checks. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. So we're gonna clean like madmen. Our plan is deep clean the entire place today and tomorrow. And then when it comes time for our check, we'll like sweep, mop, you know, take out the trash, everything like that. That That's the plan. But I don't have the energy to do the dishes. So I have weirdly been getting like, oh, like therapy kind of TikToks and everything like that of like, okay, you're stressed out, but you aren't working. You aren't doing anything like that. Oh, she's giving me the song. What in this moment is making you so stressed out? Like what, after this session, what are you the most stressed about doing? And then what's the thing that's holding you back? So I was like, honestly, the dishes. I don't have the energy to stand there, rinse my hands under hot water to clean them because my dishwasher sucks. So I have to scrub them clean and then put them in the dishwasher and load it dry, like load it and everything. I don't have the energy to load the dishwasher. I don't have the energy to stand there and wash it. The press goes, so run the dishwasher like twice, run it three times four times. Run it a million times for all I care. Why why are there rules? And it's like, oh my goodness, why didn't I think of that? So that has really helped me, like weirdly, that has helped me. And what I do is I'll run it, I'll check the dishes, whatever dishes are still dirty and kind of gross, I will chuck back in and then whatever ones are clean and fine, I'll put away. So that has been really helping me with everything. And I don't know, it's it's just, it's a tiny little thing. It seems kind of stupid, but it genuinely has helped. And it's it's so weird like saying this and everything like that. It's It feels weird to say that and admit, yeah, I, I do, don't do the dishes. I just run the dishwasher two, three times, but <laughs> it works. I, my mental health has been so doo-doo and doing YouTube and these silly little videos make me feel better about myself. So when I do have the energy to be like, okay, I can do my dishes, I'll get up and then I'll smell the sink, throw up and lose the energy because it's that foul. So instead, I just plug my nose, load everything in the dishwasher, and we're good. So now that I've, like, the biggest hurdle is always the dishes. It's always the dishes. So now that it's, like, out of the way, I can actually, like, sit down and clean, like, normal. Like, I, en I enjoy cleaning. So it, it, it's always felt so, like, why can't I do this? Why can't I get up and sweep? Why can't I mop my room? Why can't I do a load of laundry? Why can't I strip my bed and wash my sheets? Why can't I do this? Why am I like paralyzed in fear of cleaning? That seems so stupid. Just 
learning a different way, teaching yourself different rules has made it so much easier to do. I don't know. It, that was a weird tangent, so I apologize, but at the same time, this helped me, so I'm hoping maybe, maybe I could help one of you guys. <laughs> but after this, my plan is to take a hot shower, because that really does help with congestion and stuff. It's crazy. It's like a humidifier, you know, that's actually wild. Here is Fuchsia's house. I really enjoy it. I want to put the uh, cinema roll parasol over there on the other side of this couch and then I was thinking of putting something else pink on here maybe like a flower or something I don't know I can worry about that later but for now I'm gonna call fuchsia's house done what I want to do over here is I would love to put pink flowers over here so I'm gonna quickly hop around and collect some and then I'm gonna work on the blue kind of transition area by that staircase because what I have learned works for me is I weirdly enjoy terraforming. I am the kind of artist that my favorite part is the line art. My favorite part is like the weird tedious stuff. I love to crochet. I love repetitive tedious little tasks. I think I find them so entertaining because I think I just have that, that small of a pea little brain. I have noticed that I get decoration burnout because I'll be like, oh, I don't have an item, so I won't decorate this. No, what I need to do is buy the item, time travel to till I have it, and then continue decorating or go find something like I did with Fuchsia's house. That is really what I want to try and do for this island, and that's what I'm trying to do for my other island, is when I build a section, I should decorate it before I work on building another section. I did admittedly do a little bit of terraforming because I was sick and really needed something mindless to do. <laughs> and I was like, why not work on the island? Because it's either that or clean right now, and I, I don't want to clean. I want to work on Able Sisters. The Rainbow Road is going to take a while for me to get to be able to work on, but I did some terraforming down here and I'm excited for the purple section, but I just don't have any purple flowers. So I wanna be working on the blue section because I can actually weasel my way into getting blue items. So for this area, I was thinking actually we could do pear trees since I have them. Um, and I wanted to do some stumps around here for that kind of like vibe. I do like the idea of having this kind of like here, but I was thinking maybe we could put it up here so it's kind of like maybe where these flowers are. I think it's also kind of a cool idea to try and like, oh the blue section could be more modern while the red section could be like a carnival and then the pink section's like a flower forest and I don't know, things like that seem cool, but I also like the idea of kind of mushing everything everywhere. <laughs> Because I do want to have this lucky pond back here, like a little secret grotto. So I'm going to pick up this fencing and go customize this and make it blue so that I can have some blue fencing full up there. And then let me craft some fencing super quick and also see what other kind of recipes I could do to make this blue area work. Okay, there is, there's a colorful version, which will be nice because I do want to put another one kind of up where Rainbow Road is. But for now, I'm gonna make this one because it's blue. <laughs> and then I was also wondering if you have like customized fencing, do they latch onto each other? They don't. You know what? I'm gonna keep that white mum there. I, I like it. For a lot of different sections that I can't really get a lot of colors from, like yellow, pink, red, I, I'll have a ton of flowers for those. But for like blue, green, maybe even the purple section where I don't have as many flower color options because I just genuinely can't produce that many. I'm gonna be using white a lot. I feel like that's gonna be fine. If we do that, we can maybe do like a swinging bench over here and have like a little lookout. So we can kind of have like a rainbow pathing coming this way. We can put flowers or something there. And then I'm thinking we could do like some fencing behind it and then fill this in with flowers. We could put pink flowers back here, but like keep the bench a blue spot. I kind of like that idea. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the white wood on this, just because it makes the most sense. I love running through all my flowers and just being able to destroy them because it doesn't matter because I have too many. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh, cute. Um, I'll get more flowers for here and here, and then we can do like other items around. I want this to be Poncho's Grotto. 
How cute does that sound? Poncho's Grotto? I think I will reserve that for tomorrow though. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I think I did a fabulous job decorating around and getting some areas kind of kind of customized and complete today. I really want to thank you guys so much for watching and I want to thank you again for being so patient with me while I'm sick and I'm recovering and being so sweet in the comments. I love, love, love interacting with you guys. I feel like I say it in every video, but it's so true. I'm being so genuine. I love the interactions I get every day and I love being able to talk with y'all. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!